Welcome to the Quest 5 podcast. Your dreams of full sale will become a reality after you listen to this podcast. We're here today to help you understand what it's like to be a student at Full Sail University. I'm here with two of my friends in my class for the psychology, and we're going to go over what it's like for us to be at Full Sail, what our expectations were coming in, what it's been like being there to help you be set up for success when you come here. So let me introduce my two esteemed guests today. We'll start with ladies first. Hello, my name is Shakira Powell, and I'm enrolled in the game art program, Bachelors of Science, and I'm a current student at Full Sail. Um, I am Miles Andrade. I am enrolled in the bachelor's program for film. And my name is Randy Silver. I'm enrolled in the sports casting program and I'm a student at Full Sail. So you'll get a great idea at three different programs. We're all together because we're all in GE classes together. So when you first start, no matter what major that you're in, you have to take two GEs. One is creative presentation, which is a different class. And then this one is psychology, which we're all in right here. So let's start with just first time students coming in. What should they prepare themselves for these first two classes, especially since we're in psychology? Let's talk about this one. We'll start with Miles. All right. So what you need to prepare for is you're going to have to do a lot of reading. You need to participate. Participation is very important in class or else you're not going to get anything out of it. So definitely prepare to do a lot of reading a lot of discussion posts and just engage with the class because the more you engage the more you get out of it ultimately so that'll be my answer what i think new students should be prepared for is a lot of presenting there's going to be a lot of that and if you're afraid of public speaking it's don't worry i was afraid of public speaking and i'm not very confident at it but eventually you'll be confident at it as long as you don't try to overthink it or think that everybody's out to get you. I wouldn't say they said it perfectly. I think the majors here at the school are really focused in media, art, movies, and it takes you being a team player in front of people, talking, presenting. So these two classes, especially psych, they're gearing you up for that. They're making you be in front of people, talk, communicate, collab with your different peers, learning the different skill sets there. So when you get deeper into your major classes, then you'll have the skill set and the basis for you to be successful. So as she said beautifully, if you are not a test of public speaking, don't worry. We help build the skill set here at Full Sail. Next question. So what do you think you had as expectations coming in that maybe uh, it hasn't been met or it's a bit different than what you thought? And we'll start with Jakira first. Um, of course I knew about core classes. But the, the main expectations that I didn't expect is that um, uh, I basically thought that we're at first we're going to be going to school for four, eight hours. <laughs> like, I didn't know we're going to be going half or four and then next along the way we'll, we'll be doing the full eight hours. So just kind of expect to be four hours in class first and then eight hours. I get what you're saying. This, you're, you're, it feels like you may have more time in your day than you would expect in a traditional school. So you got to yeah. be prepared to use that time wisely to make sure you're getting the most out of your day. Yeah, that's that's how I meant to put it. <laughs> Thank you. You're good. Miles, yourself? Um, so I didn't expect the amount of group activities um, that we're going to be doing. Um, I'm more of an individual type of learner and everything. So being able to, you know, pull back and not like, you know, you know, like steamroll or, you know, take the lead all the time. It's it's nice. And it's also like it, it, it helps me grow. Mm -hmm. and really like it's, it's good to learn how to work with a group and everything like that. So definitely um, being being like in a group setting. Um, I did not expect that, like, we're going to be doing that a lot at Full Sail, so. Great. And I would say for myself is, you know, I'm 30. I've already gone to college once. I got a double major degree, was in tech role for 10 years. And now I'm at Full Sail, and I was very scared that, like, I was going to be the grandpa in the group, not going to lie. There are people who are 18, 19, like, this is their first type of college. There are people who are 
20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. So it's a wide range of people. So you get to, you get to meet different people, different dialects, different religions, different ethnicities, different beliefs. You know, I come from California, blue state, now we're in Florida, red state. I hear people saying things that I, you hear about the news, but now you're hearing it. So you get a, a mixed match of different cultures and it helps you form who you are. But also if you're scared that you maybe are too old, too young, one color, whatever it may be, it does not matter here. It's really a all encompassing community. Yeah, very diverse. Very mm -hmm. diverse. Mm -hmm. So now that we've been in the program for three weeks, what do you think about the program and how do you think it will help you propel yourself and move forward as you get closer into your major? Learning. So what I'm learning about at Full Sail right now is the different perspectives from people and getting like their look and stuff, you know, that's not necessarily mine, you know, like, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much it. Just learning other with other people, you know, just working with other people, like I said. Awesome. Shakira. So um, I agree with him in terms of we're going to be working with a lot of people like you're going to be working. I know I'm going to be working in with other people that I least expect, like I could be working with film, film, I could be working with recording arts and such like that. But I hope to learn more than what I, what my gaming degree provides. So that way I can have a better way to network with other people and to move up in the industry. Love that. And hopefully one day you'll be looking back at this or people who listen to this podcast and say, I remember when she was a freshman in school. Now she's a big time, big time. But what I would say is for myself is I think the key word we keep hearing around school, there's actually two is networking and passion. People here at the school are very passionate about what they do. They're not going to a traditional four-year school. They want to go something very focused, it gives you on the job training so you can move straight to your passion. So passion's big. If you have a passion for something, go make it happen. And networking, as they both said beautifully, you're talking to different people in different programs, you're meeting different people. So you'll be able to collab. And if they ever need your help in one day or vice versa, they're there for your success. So the school is really what you make it. Which takes us to our final question before we end the quest podcast. If you could go back to yourself and tell yourself something, hey, this is what you should pre be prepared for coming to full sale, what would that be? And we'll start with you, Kira. Networking, back to networking, um, which, answer, which should also be my other question about what I should expect, which I didn't is that be prepared to, and don't regret meeting a lot of people and annotating how they are getting the opportunities that they're getting. Like, I would tell, I would tell my, my past self to just, you know, work on your social skills, try to ask the right questions and find the right people. So that way, you know who to you know who to associate with in case they need you to help them excel in whatever project that they have. I love that, Miles. Um, so for me, I would tell myself, "Hey, you're getting into college. Um, you know what to do. You've done. You've had the training. Eyes on the prize. You know, just focus on your coursework. Focus on your discussions. Participate in class. Just get the best out of the network." and you're good to go it's really it's really that simple it's it's really that simple just do your work show up you know just do what you need to do i love that i think what i would add is uh, if you have opportunity to go to bts they, i think it was very helpful for me coming from california to see the school be here in person understand what the coursework was like speak to the director of the program so it helped solidify for me decision to come here so if you have the opportunity to go to bts and again once you're here teachers aren't going to teach you uh treat you like babies like school kids are going to teach you like adults and you need to do what it, you need to do to be successful and they expect you to have that responsibility for you to be successful yeah. great anybody have anything else they'd like to add that we may have missed nope so if you're listening today i hope this helps you decide to come to full state university we're here 
If you have any questions, reach out to us. Our Twitter is Quest 5 Podcast. Our Instagram is Quest 5 Podcast. And our TikTok is Quest 5 Podcast Fan. Go check it out. Everybody okay. give a wave to the group. Thank you so much for watching and listening today. Hope you have Thank a great you. day. And we will see you on the next podcast. Bye.